That must be the gouge. Looks like an old mine. There's a lot of debris blocking the entrance. Maybe you can't take that small timber during the flood. I'm gonna have to clear some of it to get inside. There we go. Time to head in. Okay, let's see where this leads. Take it easy. You must be Kentok. Oh. How does an outlander know my name? Natika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so he made it. Good. And Natika. She came back. Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. <sighs> it was. My mistake to deny her discharge. A soldier is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. So... Leave me. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out, but it's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? And not from where I came in. There must be another source, and if I find it, and open it up... You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Hey. Hey! I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. That waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I have to get high up to figure out where it's coming from. I need more of this ammo. Must be another source.
No more ammo. Okay, the waterfall I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere around here. Gotta find its source. Water's coming in from there. I can use the fire gleam to break open that wall. And this place should flood. a way out. Almost there. Hey, stay with me. Tell Natika. You tell her yourself. She said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. Blade answers only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. <laughs> Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Bleeding Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done, I could join the Chief's Guard. But I have to lay him to rest first. With full soldier's honors. Aloy, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide.
Come closer. Cauldron to let it over by that machine. That Osram camp Laura and I were trying to find should be around here. Smoke. Could be from the camp. Maybe I should check it out. Some kind of boss room? I must be closing out on the signal. The thing is, these ones don't seem that aggressive. But I figured I'd be safe there until a couple of glint hawks attacked. Chased me all the way back to camp. Nasty machines. Another tall neck. stories always so... Engaging. Noticed machine uh, riders yeah, earlier. That. They seemed like they were racing or something. I don't know. Welcome to camp. Oh, Talana. Glad to see you made it. 
thanks to the secret passage for your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Osara knocking at your door. And you are? This is Ragard. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before he went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called... The Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thorn Marsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but... He was dead set on going. What happened when you went through the tunnel? Nothing. Our crew split into two groups to pass through. Everyone here was part of the first crossing. Aside from some pitch black passages, it was quiet. Whatever befell the second group spared us. Steel Spark be praised. But you best talk to Porgov about that. He knows a bit more than I do. Did Amadis say anything about why he was heading to the Rot? Afraid not. He was a man of few words. Sounds like him. Did he look okay to you? More or less. He seemed shaken when we learned the tunnel had collapsed behind us. But then again, so was everyone around here. So you're a scout for this crew? Anything I should know about the area? Where to start? Down south, we got a trio of Osirum trying to delve into the ruins in the sand. There are more of you? They're the ones we followed out here in the first place. And then there are all the other folk, who broke away as soon as we got to this side of the tunnel. Salvagers, explorers, all sorts of daring venturers. Just how many of you were there? Enough to lose track, that's for sure. I've also spotted some rebels a while back, too. Seems like they've been patrolling the desert. Heard all about the rebellion from the Tanakh up in Scalding Spear. That's the Desert Clan's capital, north of here. Sounds like you've really gotten to know the area. It's what I do. Thanks, Raggart. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine. I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. Looks like we have company. That girl was wound up tighter than a twisted spring. She didn't have to hit me. Well, she didn't like you going through her parcels. She warned you. Twice. I was just curious, is all. There's a lot of odd gear. Yeah! Well, thanks to you, she bolted like a hair on fire. Like an Osram camp. But where is everyone? My focus might show me more. 
There's some green shine residue here. Looks like there's a trail of it I can follow. Useful for making dyes. That's a lot of green shine. Whoever made camp here must have found a large deposit. A dead Osiram. And some equipment around that pool. Were they mining for moonshine underwater? Greenshine. I'm in luck. May your enemies fall. <laughs> Only drawn blades can end. You're no your open. blade is to be versed. Enjoy your time in our. <sighs> Hail out. Beaten you and the chief saved us. Let our blades may pass. Walk tall. All blades I against the <laughs> Don't breathe. May the day bring you victory. She won't be bothered by acid.
fire claws are terrorizing the Forbidden West, too. Thornmarsh. Quite a sight, isn't it? Never thought I'd find myself this deep in Tanakh territory. Have you run into any trouble? I've been keeping my head down. Had to duck into the swamps a couple of times to avoid Tanakh patrols. Well, I'm here now. So spill it. Who is Amatis, really? Like I said before, he helped me put a stop to a hunter-killer machine out in the wilds. At first, he thought I was just another hunter from the Lodge who only cared about the biggest machine trophy. And I thought he was just a grouchy hermit living in the woods. But then, he trusted me with the truth. Told me how the Red Raids took everything from him. Seeing that side of him, I don't know, changed things. You love him, don't you? I think I might, yeah. Then why did you part ways? When he told me how he failed to save the woman from his past, I told him how I made peace with my father and brother's deaths. He realized he needed to do the same on his own. Wait. When we searched that Red Raid's battlefield together, you said he'd lost someone close to him there. I thought you meant a fellow soldier. She was. Women aren't allowed to serve in the Karja army, but Nessa disguised herself so she could. Amadis kept her secret. When he left to come out west, he promised he'd send word that he was all right, but his letter never came. So you set out to find him? And when we do, I'll have words for him for leading us on this wild goose chase. Well, at least I kind of understand now. Amadis thought Nessa died on the battlefield, but when he learned that the Tanakhs took prisoners back west, he kept going. So I guess now we find this prison, the Rot. I did some scouting while I was waiting. I think I might have found the way. Lead on, then. Do you think Nessa might still be alive? I doubt it. Any Karja prisoners from the Red Raids would have been killed or returned home by now. Then what's Amatis after? I think he just needs to know. Here, you flaming hunk of scrap. That's him. The fire claws right on his heels. He's no match for it alone. Come on. Got Let's you. Talana? We've got your back. Not now.
giving up. Talana, I... You were supposed to let me know you were okay. I was going to send the message right after I crossed into the desert with an Osaram caravan. But when it became clear that the tunnel had collapsed behind this, I figured the only thing I could do was press on. Seeing as you found a way out here, however, clearly I was wrong. I'm sorry. The last thing I wanted was to worry you. So, you must be Amadis. And you must be Aloy. Talan has told me a lot about you. And I guess you must know about me. Uh, a little. We know you're headed for the rot. But what are you hoping to find there? A clue. Or a shred of one. Anything about Ness's fate. Maybe she died on the battlefield. Or maybe she wasted away in that prison. Either way, I have to know. Talana told me about you and Nessa during the Red Raids, that you kept her secret. We were both assigned to the Southern Spear Division. Our orders were to push into Tanakh territory through the tunnel. She was proud to serve the Sundan at first, but as the atrocities mounted, we both saw the raids for what they were. And the two of you grew close? We did what we could to protect innocent lives. It felt like we were the only ones who objected to the slaughter. And, yes, we were close, until the Battle of the Burning Blooms. So, you and Talana, um, sounds like the two of you had an adventure out in the wilds. Claw Striders, a hunter-killer, mercenaries, a shell snapper, nothing could get in her way. A scruffy hermit in the woods certainly tried. That was foolish of him, in hindsight. What happened at the Battle of the Burning Blooms? I had intel that the Tanakh forces were greater than we had anticipated. I tried to convince my commander to halt the attack. He was a drunken lout. And when I threatened to reveal his incompetence to Karja High Command, he pulled a knife on me. So I... killed him. In self-defense. It was still murder. I was condemned. But I thought at least... I could still save Nessa. I was too late. By the time I got to the battle, the fields were already burning. Her soldiers, slaughtered, were missing. What's more, the commander I had killed was from a powerful noble house. They put a bounty on my head. I've been on the run ever since. But the Red Raids are long over. Sun King Avad would pardon you if he knew- The Sun King can't help me. A pardon from Avad won't stop bounty hunters eager to claim their prize.
Well, we're here now, so let's head to the rot. I can't ask you to come with me. I feel bad enough you've come this far. I didn't come all this way just to leave you now. We'll see this through together. I know better than to try to talk you out of it. Come then. The rot's not far. The rot's along the shore, but we'll have to stick to the woods to avoid being seen. How did you find it? I overheard a Tanuk patrol from the nearby village talking about it. Figured it out from there. What were you gonna do if we hadn't found you? Take it on alone? I only need to question one guard. Figured I'd grab someone when they're by themselves. Well, now you have us. We're getting close. There it is. The rot. Those are Agal's rebels. They're waging civil war against the rest of the Tanakh. They must have taken over the prison. And they would have killed any of the guards. They were my last hope of finding out if Nessa was there. Maybe not. There might still be some clue inside. Even after all this time? Aloy can see much more than you or I. Then let's do it. Any scrap of hope is better than nothing. We'll have to find another way in. The front gate looks impenetrable. And there's no way we're scaling those walls. You two stay here. I'll see if I can find another way in and get that gate open. I should check around the sides. Might be a way in from the water. We'll head in as soon as you get the gate open. Hey, they said enough. As soon as you open the gate, we'll be right at your side. Don't worry about us. Get that gate open. We'll head in as soon as you get the gate open. Hmm. 